Hey everyone, it is me, Ellie, here. And yes, I am wearing the exact same clothes. I just literally shot my industrial video, so. There's, I live next to the airport, like on the flight path of the airport. So there's like always planes flying by. But yeah. So today we're gonna talk about another piercing. This piercing is my double conch. It was hard to talk my mom into this one. Okay, she didn't want me getting my bar just because she doesn't want having a stick going through my ear. But this one, it was a challenge. I ended up getting her to talk me, or I ended up talking her into it. And I told her it was gonna be dainty jewelry, much like these jewelries. And I've only changed this one, but I haven't changed my bar yet. And she was like, okay, as long as it's dainty. I didn't know they were gonna stick big, huge gauges through my ear. Like, I was, <laughs> I was not expecting it to be such thickness, but oh well, I like it, no matter what. Uh -huh. Anyways, so this piercing is called a conch piercing. It's the double conch with a um, capture bead. In it, you can get studs, you can get the the horseshoe, I don't know what they're really called, but yeah, so you can get the seamless, you can get anything in this piercing. A lot of places do not pierce with a hoop though, like I did, but in some places do it with a lot longer hoops. My ear is still a little bit swollen, so it looks a lot snugger than it actually is. Anyways, so I got this piercing about two days ago. Two, two, two days ago, <laughs> I got it, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. And I spent the night at my friend's house afterwards. I ate a big huge box of cheeses. So, so my conch piercing, I am obsessed with it. When I have my hair up, I whenever I take pictures, like. I just like, pow, it's like white and I, I love it. Anyway, so I chose to do the double conch just because I don't, it's not that I don't like the single conch. My place is buy one, get one free on piercings. So like I had free piercings. So I was like, oh, why not do the double conch? Like, I was so excited about it. I wanted to do a jewel on the top bead, but they didn't have any more jewels when I went, which made me sad, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> so, my double conch is new, obviously. And so today I'm going to talk about the pain, because I actually remember the pain very well, um, where I got it. just the standard things I guess okay so my experience was so I'd been trying to talk my mom into this for a couple weeks now it was she did not want me to get it at first but I convinced her finally and I was like mom can I please get it today and she was like no and I was like why and she was like because and I was like why she's like now you're being a bully and I was like I'm not being a bully I'm just asking why and she's like give me two hours to think about it two hours later she came into my room and she was like okay you can get it so I was like, yes. So I went in with my one of my best friends, Heather. She was there for my industrial and it was the same place, Paramount. Love it. Please go there if you're from Portland. But um, go to Paramount or um, Jaded Soul. I've not gotten a piercing from Jaded Soul. But I've talked to the piercer many, 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 many times. He is so nice and love his work and everything like that. I just don't have the money to go there. Anyways, <laughs> um, she was going to get two piercings and I wanted to get two piercings. So we went together kind of thing like that. They do not let guests in the back. So, but they have two rooms to pierce. And so I was getting my piercings and she was getting her piercings. And yeah, she got her tongue and her tragus done. And the tragus is like, my baby hair is this part of the ear, the little triangle. And yeah, so it was very nice. It was a lot less busy than 
the last time I went and I liked that the people were a lot more personable this time and Heather was just flipping out about her piercings she was so nervous and I was I was anxious for this piercing because everyone said if your bar hurts your conch won't hurt and if your bar doesn't hurt your conch will hurt I don't know why people say that but apparently that's how it works for most people <laughs> My bar did not hurt at all. You can watch my video on that, me explaining that, but it did not hurt at all. So I was like, crap, my conch is gonna hurt so bad and then it's twice, like, mm. So I was talking to the piercing lady and she was like calming my nerves. So I had Heather being all anxious and crazy and then I had me being kind of anxious and kind of nervous. These freaking planes. And so it was just like a mess kind of thing like that. I knew I wasn't gonna back down. I knew I wanted it kind of thing like that. But yeah, and when I got into the room, she was super sweet and it was the exact same piercing as I got last time and I was so happy about it. I was like, do you remember me? And she was like, should I? And I was like, yeah, you did my industrial. And I pulled up my ear and I showed her. She's like, I do remember that she took a picture of me on my industrial too, and so it's on her Facebook page. Hey, but um, so she remembered me, which I thought was sweet because it was like four months ago. But um, so I had that double nerve kind of thing like that with Heather kind of getting me hyped up, and then me getting myself hyped up, and she just did a phenomenal job of calming me down. And I wasn't necessarily crazy; like I was gonna get the piercing, like. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't afraid to get the piercing. But yeah, so she looks at me, she's like, okay, so what piercing do you want? And I was like, I want the double conch. She was like, double conch? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, with the hoops? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I am so excited to do this. She was so excited. She's like, I've been trying to get everyone to do this and no one will do this. And I was like, oh, so I'm gonna be the first one. And she was like, well, you're gonna be the first few kind of thing like that she'd done a couple before like she was a very experienced piercer it's just like the conch piercing isn't that common in Portland and then the double conch is like extremely not common in Portland kind of thing like that so yeah um so I laid down she'd marked my ear I gotta decide where I want him and stuff like that and I love the placement of them and um she laid me down and she's like just look straight and I was like okay because like before I had to like tilt my head but this time she wanted me to look straight which I guess is right because it's like stabbing through that part of the ear like you need to be straight anyways so the first one she's like okay take a deep breath and she jammed the needle, needle in and my toes curled and I grabbed my shirt it didn't hurt but it hurt kind of like that like definitely felt the needle going through my ear definitely felt the jewelry getting put in like definitely felt it but definitely not something I wouldn't do again and then she put the second jewelry in she didn't pierce my ear yet so she did the lower one first let's get all close and uncomfortable right here cover my zit <laughs> so she did the lower one first and then she slid this jewelry on as you can tell like it's not that sensitive like I can like touch it and stuff like that but um she slid this jewelry on before she pierced it just so it'd be like less fiddling with my ear. And then she pierced <laughs> the second one. <laughs> that hurt. The second piercing hurt so much more than the first piercing. I don't know if it was because I had already gotten the first piercing and my ear was already agitated. Or if it was just the placement of the first piercing. And I bled, 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 bled. <laughs> and I walked out in the back was bleeding again and I mean it wasn't that bad like my friend got her tragus pierced and she had to have like a cotton ball in her ear because it was bleeding that bad like she was able to clean it up for me at least but I was a bleeder and bleeding is totally fine like so in cartilage there's not a lot of blood there's not blood in cartilage kind of thing like that but there's lots of veins on the skin that covers your cartilage and when you pierce your ear, you puncture the veins. And when you puncture the veins, where's the blood gonna go? It's gonna go out of your ear. So that's why your ears bleed when you get your ears pierced. 
So she was like, okay, lay down because she knows that I, when I faint, I have seizures. So she's like, okay, you just need to lay down for a couple seconds. And I was like, I do, I feel perfectly fine. Like my mom makes this sound like it's like the worst thing ever. Like I faint for everything. That is not true. I haven't fainted in like two years. It's, it's, it's I'm fine. But, um, so I sat up eventually. She's like, okay, just stay there for a couple minutes. I'm like, okay. Sat there for a couple minutes, started checking myself out in the mirror because like the whole entire front wall was mirrors. And I was like, that's so cool. And I was checking it out in my ear mirror and it was like bright red. And I was just like, yeah. I was like, I can't believe I just did that. And my mom looked at it. She was like, dad's not gonna be happy about that. <laughs> and I was like, cause we didn't tell my dad I was getting them. He's not the person that cares necessarily if I get piercings, but I went home and he was like, Elizabeth. And I was sitting on this chair right here. Ooh, jiggly arm. <laughs> and he was like, Elizabeth. He walked over to me and I lifted my hair. He's like, turned around, walked away. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's an ear piercing. I can cover it with my hair. I can take it out. It's okay. But, um, so after that i stood up and heather hadn't even gotten her first piercing yet and she just looked terrified because she was getting her tongue pierced first and i was just laughing at her kind of thing like that and i lifted up my ear frick that hurt though that was not a pleasant feeling right there like move them but i can't flick them mm -hmm, and i just flicked it oh oh well um it's a cartilage piercing so it's so it's to take six months to heal uh, my industrial I took four to like be completely fine um, took a couple weeks for it to sleep I was able to sleep on this last night I didn't mean to sleep on it <coughs> last night sorry just like <coughs> there's a diggle in my throat Oh, no, I'm crying. <coughs> <coughs> now that we got all that coughing out of the way and I'm crying, nah, we can continue with the story. So it takes six months-ish to heal. And um, I, I slept on it last night. I didn't mean to sleep on it last night. but So I usually sleep on my left side and that's the side I have this piercing on for the past couple weeks I've been training myself to sleep on my right side I usually don't sleep on my right side due to shoulder injury but I've been training myself to sleep on my right side because of the piercing that I was gonna plan on getting and so I've been sleeping on this side for a couple weeks and last night I was like I just need to roll over so I rolled over and it hurt and I just put my head lower on the pillow so my ear wasn't touching the I have one of those like temper period pillows that are like the pillows. So I put my head on the second, like the lower bump so my ear wasn't touching it. Yeah, it was perfectly fine. Um, pain scale. The first piercing was like a one or a two. And then the upper piercing was like a five or a six. Yeah. So yeah, I do not regret this piercing. I love it so much. If you're in the Portland area, you gotta get this chick to pierce your ear because she's the sweetest person ever. She's like so calm and she's really funny and she's adorable and she's just perfect and stuff like that. So please go check out her. I think her name is like, I don't even know her name. Uh. I think her name starts with an M. I don't know. Anyways. Um, if you're thinking about getting your conch pierced, please go do it because it's a very fun piercing to get done. Saying that guy sarcastically. If you're going to get it, I suggest getting the first one. I, I suggest getting them both at the same time just so it's like done, it's out of there kind of thing like that. But like if you're bad with pain, I suggest just getting the first one first and then getting the second one after the first one heals just because then it won't hurt as bad kind of thing like that and you know 
but it is a very fun piercing to have. They did a really fat gauge on mine, but you could probably get a smaller gauge. I didn't ask for any specific gauge, they just kind of gave it to me. But yeah, so it is a very nice piercing. It has not caused me any problems. It hasn't got caught in my hair or anything like that. My hair's been down ever since and I like it. So I hope this video helped you a little bit. I feel like I was like the lamest video ever. It's like 15 minutes right now. It's like I edited it down, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys choose to get conch piercing because it's just awesome and I love it. Yeah. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you guys love you. Bye.